Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, today, we are going to be counting down the top 10 books on writing. And really, more than anything, what this video is going to be is me telling you something that you need to hear. If you clicked on this video, it's because you are a writer or you are an aspiring writer. I have purchased and read so many books over the years on writing. <clears throat> um, and when it comes to books on writing, I feel like... The first half of the book, they all say the exact same thing, and we'll get to that in a second. The second half of the book will be things that are particular to that writer. Um, like, uh, this person, this writer, likes to write in the day because as soon as the sun goes down, they fall asleep. That's not writing advice. That's, this motherfucker can't stay awake. And that's what that is, okay? Um, this other person will say, um, you know, you have to have a little tiny room to write in, you know, because um, you can't have distractions. Okay, well, if you're claustrophobic, typing in a little tiny room might make you feel like you're in a coffin. So that's not good advice. Okay, um, it's good advice if you like being in tiny little rooms. The other thing when you're looking for books on writing, it really depends on if you like the voice of the person writing that book. And that's subjective. So no one can say this book's better than this book or this book's better than this book or whatever. Um... Some people have written books on writing who've written, like, hundreds of books. Some people have written books on writing who've written ten books. Some people have written books on writing who've never written a book before. Um, they write little um, Amazon ebook manuals that are really blog posts that they bought off of Fiverr, you know? So, like, whatever. The only advice there is and what that first bit of all these books have in common is you just have to write a book okay that's all there is to it you can spend money on numerous numerous books on how to write a book and you can read all those books but unless you have your butt in a seat and are sitting in front of the computer and are typing your ass off, you're not going to ever, ever write a book. So the only thing you need to know in order to write a book is to sit down and write a book. You could stand up if you want. Some people have standing desks. But you need to go like this. Your fingers need to be moving and you need to be typing. That's it. That is the only thing you need to write a book. Is your book going to be good? I don't know. Is your book going to be crap? It could be. But unless you actually write a book, you'll never know if you could write a book. So, um, this whole video the top 10 best books on writing. It's, it's a farce. Like, this is not a real thing. Okay? Um, there are books that some people like more than others, but it's all crap. Because the only thing a book on writing is going to tell you is to sit down and type. And then there will be a bunch of other information that might not be for you in that book. And then if you are doing those things and it's not working, then you feel like a failure. 
And that's not what this is about. All you need to do is sit down or stand up and type. Don't um, don't go back and reread stuff while you're typing. That that's not writing a book. That's reading a book. Some people might say that's editing a book, but the book's not done, so it shouldn't be edited yet. I've talked to so many people who um, tell me that they've been working on a book for like a year or two years or something like that, and they just can't get past a certain point because they keep going back and rereading it and fixing stuff. And, um, you know, if you, I guess if you want to write like literary fiction and, um, 15 years from now have, um, an amazing novella that has a really good first chapter, then that's a route you can go. But if you just want to see if you could write a book, you just write a book. And some of you are like, well, you know, there are good books on writing out there. And I'm not saying there's not. There are good books on writing out there, especially um, like form and um, stylistic um, type of books. And I think if you have written a book and you know you can do it, then you can go and read stuff like that that tells you, like, different ways to do things. Um, and then that just becomes another tool in your toolbox. You know what I'm saying? But um, I, the biggest problem that I hear from tons of people is that... They want to write a book, and they just haven't been able to do it. And think think to yourself right now, how old were you, or how many years ago was it when you said, oh, one day I'm going to write a book? Um, and if that answer basically is a long-ass time ago, the reason why you haven't done it is because either you don't sit down to do it, or you don't think you can do it. So figure out if A, it's you don't think you can do it, or if it's B, you haven't sat down to do it. Um, and if it's B, then just sit down and freaking do it. And if writing a book is too big, start writing short stories. Um, write different chapters of the book, because if you want to write a book, that means for X amount of years, you've had a book in your head that you like go to all the time. And you're like, oh man, that's really funny. Or, whew, that's a good twist. And, and you like go over these chapters in your head. Or scenes or whatever. Um, start writing those scenes. Write them out of order. Just write to see if you can do it. And if you can do it, which you can... Um, you'll be so impressed with yourself. And some of you might be going, well, I don't know if I, um, you know, write well, and what if my grammar's off, and da 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 Do you read books? Yes. Okay, so if you read books, you are familiar with how a book is laid out. You are familiar with what a paragraph is. You are familiar with... Um, quotes around dialogue you're familiar with little parts of a book um there you go take your favorite book and just flip through it and look at the formatting of it um it like i don't mean to downplay this but it's not rocket science um you can figure it out and you can do it just tell a story. I'm sure you've told a story. Like this morning when you woke up, your significant other sitting across from the table, you probably told them some boring ass story about everything that happened to you in the last 15 minutes. And sometimes you tell that story and it gets a chuckle from the other person. And um, usually laughter 
is um, an effect of good delivery. Okay? Comedy is all about the timing. But we're not just talking about comedy. We're just talking about writing in general. So, um, there are good books out there on writing. Um, some of them are better than others. Some of them... Um, have more of a legendary status around them for reasons unknown. Um, if you want to leave some of those in the comments below, you know what? No, don't do it. Don't even leave them in the comments below. Um, just take today and decide right now, like, do you want to be a writer or do you want to be a reader? Look at those. If you want to be a writer, just for 10 minutes. It, it doesn't take long, because once you start typing, you just start typing, and it just goes. So right now, just sit down and type for 10 minutes and see what comes up. This this I'm not, like, telling you stuff that is, like, so foreign that you would never understand it. Just sit down and type and see what happens. Um, after you do it, you could come back and comment and let me know how you feel about it. Um, so sorry for the clickbait, but you needed to hear this. So I will see you later.